Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for April the 4th of 2020, well, it is titled Venus and the Sisters. So what do we see here? Well, as we've actually looked at the last two days, we are seeing part of the uh, conjunction of Venus and the star cluster known as the Pleiades. The Pleiades is a prominent star cluster in the constellation of Taurus, and we can see a number of stars here. A few very bright stars, uh, which is where it gets its name as the Seven Sisters. And we can also see the planet Venus, the very bright object down to the lower right. Uh, Venus is the third brightest object in the sky and therefore very much overwhelms the Pleiades. Now, if you think about that, the only reason Venus is so bright is because it is so much closer. Were any of these stars at the same distance, it would overwhelm uh, Venus's brightness very easily and, of course, would make life uninhabitable here on the Earth. But instead, the stars are hundreds of light years away and therefore look very, very much fainter than Venus. Now, when we look at previous images of, of the Pleiades, we tend to see that they have a lot of dust scattered around them, and we're not seeing that here because the detail needed to get that image is not possible. In order to see that dust, we have to take a longer exposure of the Pleiades to bring out the faint detail around them. So here we're seeing just the stars themselves, Whereas if we tried to see that with Venus, then we would, uh, with Venus there, Venus would overwhelm this in brightness and would blur out anything else. Venus is already overexposed in this image and would have to be even more overexposed if we left it, left the camera open to be able to pick up any detail around the Pleiades. Now, hopefully, uh, some of you got a chance to see this site uh, yesterday, April 3rd. This was taken April 2nd, but yesterday was actually the uh, peak of this when Venus was closest to the Pleiades in a little bit further. And tonight, if you get a chance to see it, Venus will be a little bit towards the other side of the Pleiades, will having moved through them just below most of the bright stars here. And if, like for me, the weather did not cooperate and skies were cloudy, you do get a chance to see this again. This happens about every eight years. So back in April of 2012, we had a very similar occurrence. And in April of 2028, this will occur again with Venus passing through uh, the stars of the Pleiades. So if you missed it now, you've got about eight years to wait before this will occur again. So that was our picture of the day for April the 4th of 2020. It was titled Venus and the Sisters. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be Color the Universe. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.